Welcome to today's AP Automation Series for WebDocs Document and Forms Management Automation. Today's topic is Accounts Payable Automation with DAI S2K Enterprise. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the AP Automation Package for S2K and how it can remove the manual document capture and the data entry of invoices and process them into the S2K Enterprise vouchering system. Okay, I'm gonna start out with talking about the process and the flow of the documents and the data in the automation package. So documents for inside of this process are gonna either be coming from email accounts, network folders, scan documents, EDI transactions, um, to be able to process into the system. The advanced capture system is going to take that information and then process it through the engine to extract all the data and do classification of those documents. And then any documents that fail the process are going to go into what we call the verification station for exception handling. And these are only the exception documents that don't pass some of the rules um, inside of the system. And you'll see that during the live demonstration. I'll be doing a demo on that. The documents um, that pass all that verification process are going to go straight into the S2K system. So we pass that information into the S2K import utility to do the verification and matching process. And then any of those exception documents, after they're completed in that process, they're going to go into that same import uh, utility to be imported into the system. Then documents that um, are through the system at that point are going to be securely stored in the WebDoc system. They can be accessed through the WebDoc interface, which you'll be seeing here shortly. And then also can be accessed through the VAI interface with a button push. So you're going to see some of that uh, process here at that point. Now, a lot of questions come up on how the updating of S2K happens. So inside of the process, there's this S2K import utility. That's where all the data that is formatted by the advanced capture system is going to pass that data to that import utility to do validation and verification at import process to see if there's match to match up the documents, see if there's a PO and all the other supporting documentation to that inside the system. When that validation happens, we then pass that directly into S2K um, to do all the routing and all the verification of that data inside of the S2K uh, K interface directly. So all the three-way, two-way matching, three-way matching, and any approvals and touches are going to happen at that back-end process um, during this um, uh, import process. I'm going to start off with a live demonstration here. So I'm going to um, capture some documents um, to sort of um, show the, the process from, from the beginning behind the scenes um, to be able to process some of this information in through either email, network folders, or scanning of documents. And then we'll go, go into that, what we call the verification station process to see that from, from the user standpoint. So in this case here, um, from the live demo standpoint, I'm going to take a couple documents here um, as starting files, so you can sort of see these processing through the system. So I'm going to copy these, and this is just to sort of um, simulate a scanning process for the documents that might be coming in um, via an email import uh, capabilities and stuff that the solution has inside the system. So as these documents are being processed and picked up by the server, you're going to see um, on the back end of what's sort of happening inside the system, right? So behind the scenes, I like to call it, is what the system is doing to those documents. So we're doing what we call auto classification of the documents. So what kind of document is it? It's also doing uh, invoice splitting. So if you get documents that might contain more than one invoice, a lot of times this happens via email capture. When we're capturing an email and there's a, a vendor sends the email out and there's a document side of it, there might be multiple documents in, or multiple invoices inside of that single document. So the software can interrogate those documents to split those out into the individuals. We're also doing image cleanup. Um, we're also doing a big part of this is so, we're, so there's no hand keying of the data. We're actually doing full OCR extraction at a couple different layers here. So if it's just header and footer you need, we can just do the header and footer. 
Um, but in most cases, if, if we're passing that information for matching and stuff, we're going to want to do line item detail as well. So we can capture it at all three levels, header, footer, and then line item detail. Data validation is happening back and forth in between this process. And then one of the biggest things here is the business rules that are applied to this. And you'll see this in the verification station on, on some of those rules that are being hit there. So if there's, if there's variances on invoices or if there's certain things, certain data that's extracted, um, we can actually put business rules in place to be able to do approvals and review so it gets flagged to the AP team at that point. Now, when those documents come in through any of the um, automated invoice capture methods, email, network, folder, scanning, um, going to the advanced capture um, system, there's two paths those documents can go on. So it's what we call the uh, it, uh, verified invoices. So the verified invoices go through what we call straight through processing. Documents go into the web doc system for secure archival, and then the data is then passed to the S2K import process to import into S2K Enterprise. Now, this bottom process here is if exceptions happen, right? So the, what I like to call a day in the life of an AP reviewer. So this is their interface that we'll cover here next that uh, AP would be using to do that verification of those invoices. So let me get that popped open here. Uh, so this is that verification station. Um, in the verification station, you'd be able to, uh, the AP user could get email notifications saying there's something there waiting for them, or they can just go into the verification station at certain times of the day and then pop open those batches of documents that need some kind of touching. Now, remember, again, I just want to emphasize this. This is only for the exception documents, so all the ones that pass through and pass all business rules, there's going to be no touching for those documents that have to happen. This is only for documents that break some kind of rule. And in this case here, um, the, uh, you'll see that my batch of documents is provided to me at this interface. It shows me the document. It shows me the um, documents as well in that list. It also provides me a list of the data that was extracted in this case. So it, can, it shows me that it validated the company name and the address inside of here. So it puts the company ID in here from the S2K database. Um, it also shows all the extracted key values that's going to be passed to the AI to the import process for vouchering. So you can see that. And it also goes down to the, to the line item detail that it extracted as well. Now on the bottom here, um, we really want to streamline this process for users that are coming into the system. So we use this interface here in this bottom corner here to be able to show them what is wrong with the document? Why is it in this interface as, as an exception? So we actually give informational information inside here saying, hey, there was an allowed deviation of 10% or over that 10% from the PO to the invoice. So that's something that can happen at this level or we can pass that data into S2K and you can take it care of it at, S2, at the S2K level um, to do that the approval and review at this time in the, what we call the automation package, sort of our standard package. Um, the user can accept that information here at this time um, to be able to say, hey, yep, it's good to go. We're going to pass it and, and get the data over into S2K. One of the other things before I move off of this document I want to show is some of the technology um, capabilities. So we're always doing OCR um, recognition against itself, too. So as we take data off a document and extract it, we're also doing calculations and stuff off a document. So take the... Um, OCR engine picked up a 100 instead of a 200, so I thought that was a 1 instead of a 2, right? You'll see that it's actually smart enough to flag it with what we call an arithmetic error check. So it was actually adding up the quantity price and calculated it, and it does not equal that amount in there because of this 100 in there, because it's only half of that amount. So it can actually do arithmetic rule check errors um, as it's going through this process. Now on the next document here, this is something what we call, um, we can do what we call self-learning capabilities or auto-find capabilities, right? So you can teach the software to get smarter as time goes on. So in this process here, um, I can always come in here and type the information here, but it really doesn't um, help if you just type the information. So we want to teach the software to get smarter. So the next time this is an exception, that, or next time this, we see this document, it's not an exception because of this process. So we can actually come in here and click on these different values 
to be able to pull that information into these keys to be able to process it and make it sticky to the document the next time it sees it. So it actually creates um, what we call a sort of a sub-definition of the document to be able to pick up those different um, problems with the document. This next document here is basically saying there's, there's four matching rules found, right? So it's just our four matching records found for this one. So it's just saying, I need to know which one you want me to select it to. So in this case here, I can just select it, uh, pop open my vendor master table, select it, and then approve it. So what, you know, from a data entry side, you're, re you're removing full data entry capability at this point. We're doing that full extraction of data, populating the different keys with it, and just giving you that review interface for these exceptions and telling you where those errors at are on the document. Once this happens at this point, when you have, and you, and you take care of these exceptions, they're going to hit what we call the send the batch button. That send the batch button then pushes into that um, import utility to be able to process those documents into the S2K interface at that point. And then the documents go directly into the web doc system on the back end. So from that process standpoint, um, now that the documents um, are inside of S2K, right, and, and the data is in S2K, we can then push that information into that vouchering process. So we can validate that information. Um, anything that's approved will go to voucher. Anything that falls out will go to that S uh, S2K data editor for someone to do their approval and review on inside of S2K directly. Um, so there's two different areas. There's, there's a piece for non-material and then material. So PO and non-PO based kind of process that you can go into. Um, and then they give a direct interface into that, into the import maintenance screens to be able to do that entry and correction of those data um, key values inside of there. You can also do GL coding directly in the S2K interface at this point. Um, so you can enter in that information during that time as well. One of the other things um, directly in S2K is the capability to view documents inside of WebDocs. So today, this this can be done from any of the inquiry screens inside a web inside of S2K. Um, so it's directly connected to the web doc. So if you press that little PDF button, um, it's going to pop open the document web doc. So it can sort of streamline that view of the documents back and forth inside the system. All right, I'm going to show you one last piece here. So what if a user needs access to the documents and outside of S2K? Um, we do have our own interface um, from that capability, all web browser enabled. Um, so there's no user um, that, or no application that needs to be installed on the user's machine to be able to access the documents. So you can, so a user can come into the system and actually search for documents um, that are part of the search or that, that they need to search for. So say I needed to search for a certain PO number. And this one is 10, 60, 63. And say they needed to search for that and find that information, they could find those documents in, you know, sub-second kind of search. And then they can click on those documents to get access to those documents on the back end of the system. Now, this is where the security and control of the documents happen, right? So we can actually see um, a couple different things here. We can see the what security I have inside the system for this document um, to be able to do with the document, but we can also see the data for the document that was extracted during that process. And we can also, you know, see information that might have been notes and stuff that someone might have added to it as well. This also has the capability to view the document directly in our web browser interface. So if they need to view the document here, they can view it. Um, and they can do other things with the document at that time, too, with our annotation capabilities. So they need to highlight information or something like that, or if they want to put a, you know, like a sticky note or a rubber stamp on the document, they can do that all directly through this interface inside of WebDocs um, directly as well. All right, that concludes our demonstration for the AP Automation Suite for VAI. Um, if there's any questions or comments, you feel free to contact us, and we can schedule a live demonstration and even use some of your sample documents during that demonstration um, to be able to show you how you can automate your AP process. Thank you for your time.